15 Best Things to Do in Thailand Thailand is the number one tourist location in Southeast Asia, and it is easy to see why. Best known for its breathtaking beaches, its stunning temples and the modern urban sprawl that is Bangkok, it is a country where getting bored is just not an option. The problem for any visitor to Thailand is narrowing down your list of things to do, there are countless attractions, and hot spots I could put on this list but I narrowed it down to the top 15 things to do in Thailand. Number 1. Visit the Grand Palace. Set in the heart of Bangkok this is probably the most famous attraction there is. With an area of 218,400 square meters there is so much to see and do, you will not be disappointed. In 1782 huge walls were built around the palace and offices to make it the attraction it is today, please note that a strict dress code is in place at the palace so you will need to dress in appropriate clothing, or entry will be refused. Number 2. Have a Thai Massage Thai massages are famous the world over, the style of massage is unique as it stretches your body as well as working on your body's pressure points. The whole experience will leave you feeling invigorated and balanced. Every small town and city is guaranteed to have many massage parlors, and the prices are very cheap compared to what you would pay back home. Number 3, Visit the Daman Sadhuak Floating Market. There are several floating markets in Thailand, but this one is the biggest and most famous, it is huge. There are boats everywhere going up and down the canals selling all sorts of foods and fruits. A visit to this market will give you a real insight into how things were many years ago. For those who love to take photos the narrow canals, and small wooden stilt houses are sure to give you countless opportunities. The market is situated about 100 kilometers outside of Bangkok, but it is well worth the traveling time. Number 4, Take a Trip to Koh Phi Phi Shooting to fame after the Leonardo DiCaprio classic The Beach, as well as appearing in James Bond. Koh Phi Phi is a stunning island situated in the province of Krabi, this island is a must visit on any trip to Thailand. After visiting this staggeringly beautiful island no beach will ever feel as beautiful. The island has no roads so you will have to do a fair amount of walking, but with everything happening between the two main beaches you will never be far from the hive of activity. Number 5, Take a Trip to Wat Aron. Thailand is home to over 31,000 Buddhist temples, this particular temple Wat Aron is named after Aruna, the god of dawn. The temple sits on the banks of the Jao Priya River and is one of the most stunning sights you can see. The tower is 79 meters tall and has been covered in colorful porcelain and ceramic tiles making for a mesmerizing sight. When you come to the entrance of the temple you will see a pair of mythical giants that are said to guard the temple. Number 6, Gel with the Elephants. An elephant rescue and rehabilitation center in northern Thailand, Elephant Nature Park is a great experience for tourists visiting the country. One gets an opportunity to walk with elephants or ride on them. Petting or befriending them is always a better idea, because you will be surprised to know how kind these animals can be. There is no sanctuary larger than this, in this category in all of Thailand, and that's why it's one of the most popular attractions in Thailand. Number 7, Khao Yai National Park. Khao Yai National Park was the first national park to be established in Thailand and is the third largest in the country. Covering an area of 2,168 square kilometers it is a huge site to visit. The park comprises of rain forests as well as grasslands which all adds up to the large number of animals you can see. There are an estimated 300 species of birds in the park as well as bears, elephants, deers, gibbons and macaques. There are a couple of waterfalls in the park which are well worth a visit as well and are easily accessible by car. Number 8, Take Part in the Loi Kratong Festival. Celebrated across the country the Loi Kratong Festival is an annual event, that happens on the night of the 12th lunar month. 
A kratong is like a small floating basket in the shape of a lotus with a candle in it. The festival celebrates the goddess of water for all the water that she has supplied over the last year. Thousands of kratongs are lit, and left to float away on the rivers, and canals, a truly breathtaking sight. The festival is full of color, and in some cities you will see whole areas turned in processions with dancing and much color. Number 9, Take a Trip to the City of Ayutthaya. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Ayutthaya needs to be on your Thailand to-do list. Originally the capital of Thailand the city was founded in 1350 when King Yu Thong relocated to the city to escape an outbreak of smallpox. However, in 1767 the Burmese army marched on the city, and destroyed nearly every part of it. The kingdom collapsed and was never the same again. The ruins of the city are preserved in the historical park, and are certainly worth a visit when in the country. Number 10, Visit Arawan Falls. Situated within the Arawan National Park the Arawan Falls are a group of seven waterfalls, the drop from the top waterfall to the bottom one is over 1,500 meters each having its own distinctive character. The water plunges over limestone cliffs and into beautiful plunge pools, this has led to the landscape being sculpted by the water, and it is truly beautiful. You can spend a whole day in the park trekking from one waterfall to the next, stopping to take a swim in the pools where the water gathers to cool yourself down. Number 11. Visit Kanchanaburi. Located in western Thailand and admired for its beautiful scenery, and accessibility to national parks and waterfalls, Kanchanaburi is best known for its iron bridge, that is linked with the historic death railway to Burma in which thousands of Asian laborers, and prisoner of wars died, during its construction under Japanese occupation during World War II. Several museums and war cemeteries all present information about the city, and its bridge during the 1940s Japan occupation. The city is also home to many spas and temples of which the Tiger Temple is the most popular. Number 12, Visit Riley Beach. Riley Beach is situated in the south of Thailand in Krabi, it is not accessible by traveling through the mainland as the huge limestone cliffs cut it off from society. The only way to get there is to get a boat. The stunning beaches will relax you like no other, there is not a single car here as there are no roads to drive on so it will just be you, your guests, beautiful white sand and the other relaxed tourists. Your evenings can be spent in the quiet beach bars enjoying a few romantic drinks whilst watching the sunset. Number 13, Visit Pei. Noted for its picturesque valley and relaxed atmosphere, Pei is a favored destination among backpackers and tourists wishing to explore the region. Due to Pei's increasing influx of tourists, the city has increased in tourism facilities with numerous guest houses, restaurants, souvenir shops and bars. Pei's Wednesday Market is a popular attraction, which draws crowds from other villages around the Pale Valley. Every year more tourists visit than the year before, so there has never been a better time to visit than now. Number 14, Sky Train, Go on a Ride. One of the best experiences in Thailand is taking a ride on the Sky Train. The high-speed train takes you in and around Bangkok, offering great relief from the crazy traffic in the city on most days. The views are breathtaking and you can truly witness the glory of this city vis-a-vis -vis this mode of commutation. It's an experience of its kind and shouldn't be missed when visiting Thailand. Number 15, Eat Street Food. Thailand is home to many different kinds of street food, and every street in every city will have various different stalls selling their wares. From Pad Thai to Som Tam, Papaya Salad, to grilled meats it is all available at any time of the day. Thais rarely cook at home as the cost of eating out is so low compared to cooking at home, when looking for a food stall to eat at a good choice is to follow the locals, to see where they are eating. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.